Hey guys, Rex here, and welcome back to some more Killer in Purple 2. In today's video, we are going to show off the incredible new secret moon animatronic or character. I'm not 100% sure. I just know GFC told me to go over, fly the plane over to the moon, and check it out. So we're going to check that out for sure before this video ends. The second thing we're going to check out is Golden Freddy. We're going to see how he looks in the pizzeria. We're going to probably have him chase us around a little bit. And then one last secret when it comes to the junkyard. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. If you guys are enjoying the series, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. I know we've been absolutely killing it lately, and I just want to keep that momentum going. Also, check out the Chompers video we played earlier today. It was a lot of fun, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. If you guys came from th this video, leave a little knife emoji so I know you guys came from the Killer in Purple too. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and reset the car. I'm going to go ahead and jump into it, seeing we, has, we have 19 kids in the back, so we might as well go to the junkyard now. I'm going to just drive over there really quickly. We're going to deposit the kids. Now, I realized this in the last video. I just don't know why I forgot to mention it, but there is like a new like under construction or you see that purple thing right there in the junkyard. I don't know exactly what it says, but GFC did tell me that this censored little spot here is going to be the next location of some type of secret either coming towards the end of 2021 or the beginning of 2022 so i'm very very excited to see what this is going to be um do you guys have any guesses because for me i don't like what kind of animatronic or building like what would go in the middle of this junkyard i i just don't really see unless maybe it's uh, like um some old like okay for example like you see how we have the old car here maybe it's like the old i don't even know like what has been updated i guess a lot has been updated it could be an old helicopter it could be an old oh wait no the old helicopter is here what am i even talking about i don't know what it could be guys actually i'm pretty confused but if you guys want to go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below your guesses um that would be great and maybe we can bring it up with gfc maybe he doesn't know what he's gonna put there yet and maybe your suggestions would bring it to life so anyways we're gonna go over here by the new scott cawthon statue i don't think we checked this out in any of the updates thus far so it says the founder of hurricane and obviously we've got the giant scott statue i still wish that we could like actually see the um the santa sleigh it, he like flies around but i never can catch him i tried to catch him with the airplane uh, a couple videos ago and i just wasn't able to do it so it's a little unfortunate but maybe gfc that would be something you can add to a future update Anyways, guys, let's go back over to the pizzeria, and then we're going to end the video flying over to the moon and checking out whatever animatronic that could possibly be, or character, guys. What do you guys think it is? I, for some reason, I feel like it's going to be that purple-eyed character. Okay, we're just going to walk. GFC, it still has not fixed this car. It's really hard to drive. I know this is not Forza Motorsports, but I wish that car was just a little better to drive. Okay, we still can't act. Wait, can I access it or not? Okay, we're in. I was going to say, it's oh, it's after 6 a.m. now at this point. Um, So, our waiters are serving. Okay, there are some parents here. They just walked in, though. These waiters, they go crazy. Like, they go out, and then they go right back in. Out, and then right back in. It's really confusing, but they make us some money. And right now, before the next update comes out, they're at least free. So, you can at least put, like, 10 waiters. Like, let me check. I think 10 is the max. Yeah, see, waiters are experimental, may cause bugs, and waiters don't cost any money yet because they're experimental. So, yeah, that they're pretty cool addition, to be honest. I mean, there's some things that I think have been, like, crazy as far as these updates go and maybe unnecessary, but the waiters for sure are a good addition. I actually like them a lot, and I think they look cool. So now, I guess the question is, where do we put Golden Freddy? Um, I kind of want to put him in this back room, right? Because, like, in FNAF, like, He's usually in that little, like, secret area, you know, like, off to his, his, his himself. And, and I kind of want to do something similar, like, why did I pull this off? I was going <laughs> to, without even killing them, I was going to suck them up with the vacuum. We might as well get this kid, too, seeing as, like, I mean, you made a mistake. You came in here, and uh, you, you shouldn't have. You actually didn't even trust us, which is the crazy part, but you still walked in, so... Anyways, guys, we got eight kids. So that's for later. I do like what we did here. I actually really like the way that we put up the presents and the uh, the Christmas trees around Spring Bonnie. I think it looks nice. I, honestly, I, what do you guys think? Do you think we should have done something else in here? Maybe add a few other things? Also, <laughs> you know, after you're done killing the kids, you can just wipe your feet on this rug and continue on through the pizzeria. Uh, okay. Like, even the kids that don't want to go in there still go in there. It's really odd. 
Um, all right, so we have our like our FNAF 2 animatronics over here and then our sister location animatronics are over here I think I'm gonna put a room near the kitchen I think that would suit Golden Freddy best right like maybe somewhere right over here um yeah I think I'm gonna put it right here so we're gonna just go ahead and hit B I'm gonna start off with a hallway and um yeah we'll put it here I know it's not perfect guys I know it doesn't like completely fit that whole FNAF map um, and where Golden Freddy would usually be. But, you know, this is our pizzeria, our way. That's what makes this game so fun, is that you can customize and, like, do whatever you really want. So, let's go to animatronics. Now, our very last animatronic should be Golden Freddy, unless there's another secret one that I didn't know about. So, we got info, Golden Freddy, originated from unknown. Has to be placed in kitchen. Oh, if he appears in your office, press the screen to get rid of him. That's pretty cool. So, I, I don't... Wait, we can put him in here. It's this kitchen, though. All right, well, you know what? We're going to put him in here, and then we'll just decorate the room around him, right? So let's put up some Golden Freddy artwork. I think he would appreciate that. Uh, this is the problem, right? I don't know which way this is facing. Okay, cool. So let's put up some of this fan art. They, these people deserve some credit, right? They, they did some nice, hard-earned work, and um, it'd be nice to feature them in here. So we're going to do just that. We're just going to put up all the Golden Freddy artwork. Some of these are bigger than the other ones. I'm just realizing that. Uh, did we put that one? I think so. Let's put this one. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. That one. I know it's not like the prettiest, guys. I'm not like really putting it in a <laughs> in a like orthodox manner, but I think it'll look good. So who's done some of these? Amber the Cat, Charlie 87, Hurdle. Okay, there's a lot here, guys. I don't know if we're going to put all these. Oh, actually, no, it's not that bad but this one <laughs> the artwork is worth more than the amount of money that we're actually making in pizza sales though so we're gonna go broke if we keep buying these uh these paintings so maybe just a couple more okay so that one's backwards i think that's why it doesn't let you put it right is it backwards what i definitely have the money for it it's got to be backwards okay let's try it this way wait where is it it's gone now Actually, I don't know. I don't know why it won't let me put this one up. That's weird. All right. Well, either way, guys, we tried. Shout out to all the people that uh, submitted their artwork. I think it all looks really, really cool. And let's add some decorations now, right? So do we have a Golden Freddy? Not really. I was going to say, do we have a Golden Freddy machine? But you know what? Let's put in here. I don't want to put a basketball thing. I want to decorate it, though, a little bit. Like, I, let's put a Golden Freddy plush. Oh, you know what? All right, this is what we're going to do. It's going to be like the Golden Freddy fan room. So let's add a shelf filled with Golden Freddy plushies. So here we go. We're going to put this shelf here. Probably put... Okay, I was going to say, I don't know if that's supposed to be hanging, but it looks okay there. So now we got that. We're going to go back into decorations. Go for some plushies. Hopefully... Yeah, we could just add a whole bunch, right? At the same time. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. An official goldie plush so wait why won't oh there we go all right so it's just gonna be like the like i said the golden freddy fan room wait i can't put a only on the bottom row that's so weird maybe i just am like placing it wrong oh yeah i'm just placing it wrong but it's kind of hard to put it on here to be honest like you have to jump and then just hope to click it okay okay that's kind of ridiculous I need, like, a ladder or something, bro. I can't put this on here. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I think they get the point. So now we're going to go back into decorations. Let's see. What else can we add in here to kind of spice it up? Um, we've got the plushie. Let's see. Let's go to posters. We'll put up the Stay Golden poster here and here. Just to, It's kind of all over the place, but we even kept the fan art one. I think that's cool um let's see pizzeria wise i don't we, we got to put a camera in here right we got to keep an eye on this little fella let's put it facing him yeah he's right behind us perfect what are the waiters doing in here um and then uh posters were good animatronics i'm not gonna add any more animatronics but you know what let's go ahead and put like a golden tree in here as well that will keep things nice and festive we'll put it on both sides of them there we go looks good all right 
I kind of like what we did with the place. I think it looks pretty nice. It's like our Golden Freddy fan room. So if anyone wants to come in here and check them out, you obviously could just walk up to them. And then uh, I would like not get too close. I, I mean, do it at your own risk, right? Holy moly, our pizzeria is really banging. We've really created quite the experience as far as like the rides go, the new animatronics, the games. It looks really fun in here. I actually... If the animatronics didn't kill you at night, I think this would be the place to be, to be quite honest. But, uh, all right, we're going to wrap up here. I'm going to actually leave, and now we're going to head over to the moon. I want to see what the animatronic or secret character is. Um, and by the way, guys, we still have not even checked out the archive, aka, like, the extras menu. So it's definitely something we're still going to check out. Don't think I forgot about it, guys, because I haven't. We'll check it out very, very soon. Maybe in the next video, uh, we'll pair it off with some other things because there is some secret stuff in there I actually wanted to show you guys. I don't think, right? I don't think I've gone in there with you guys just yet. So let's fly over to the airport. Let's jump in the new airplane. And guys, just to point out, like this right now, I, I realized that the game hasn't come out. I have spoken with GFC and I think he's going to drop the game on Game Jolt really, really soon, probably within this week, if not tomorrow. And then you guys can kind of explore for yourselves and do all that fun stuff. But I will say, guys, make sure you sign into your Game Jolt account. I know I keep forgetting, but then you can be added to this leaderboard wall right here. And I think that is very, very cool. It kind of shows like, I think the amount of kills you have maybe i think i mean at least that's what it was in the demo but regardless guys let's go ahead and drop down to this plane i don't know why it's really hard i was talking to my brother about this it's really really hard to drive this plane i don't know why i feel like it should be a little bit easier we've talked to gfc about it but um i don't know maybe it's just us you guys try it out for yourselves when you guys get the game um all right so let's fly over to the moon Oh my gosh, we're gonna crash. We're gonna crash. Ay, yeah, yeah. Also, there's no reverse. I was talking about that with my brother as well. Like, GFC, we gotta put a reverse in this bad boy so we don't have to, like, get out. I, I, we both found out that you can move the plane. Wait, what is happening? Oh, the plane's backing up. We both found out that you can move the plane with your body when you get out, but I just don't think that that's the way. I, I, I'm pretty sure planes have a reverse button or not reverse button, but like a reverse setting or something. It It's just, it's a lot harder to drive, especially if you don't get the initial takeoff. And um, now look at it. Now it's like going super fast in reverse. I can't even catch the plane. Holy smokes. This is insane. Look at, the, I'm literally chasing the after the plane. <laughs> okay, we're getting close. We should be able to jump into it here. There we go. All right. So let's do a little bit of turning here. I don't why why am I not turning? There we go. Okay, a little more. A little more. A li ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, now we need to get enough speed to take off. Uh that should be good. There we go. Okay. I'm about to do a full backflip. Why can't I look Okay, there we go. Holy smokes, guys. So I did kind of figure out, and I was explaining this to my brother, you see that little white bar above your plane? If you can keep that centered, and it does tilt every time you look left or right, you have to keep that pretty centered or else your plane is just gonna go crashing down. Also, don't forget to press R, which is the engine up button. Um, yeah, you definitely wanna hit those two things. So let's start making our way a little closer to the moon. Um, yeah, but I just, I don't know guys i feel like maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm just being too picky but i just feel like the plane is just a little too complicated it doesn't have to be this hard i feel like if this was flight simulator maybe maybe you can leave it like this but in this case i'm cool with it just being a basic plane where like it's kind of easy to drive guys because trust me i don't know if you know this but it took me like 30 minutes to land on the little island that golden freddy was at it was kind of ridiculous so again we're flying over to the moon uh i don't know how we're not gonna freeze so, like the engine is not gonna freeze up or anything like that seeing as um we're a plane we're not a spaceship but either way guys we're flying over there and hopefully whatever this secret is is a good one it's not that hard to fly to the moon you just gotta stay straight too so i 
don't think we're gonna crash but you know what guys i'll actually bring you back when we get a little closer all right guys we are super close to the moon actually we've been flying for so long that the music cut off in the game which is pretty insane so we are i don't know i like Guys, I couldn't tell you how long I've been flying. I would turn around and look, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to crash my plane if I do so. But we're almost to the moon. And I, the thing, I, I still have that complaint, guys. It's too hard to fly this plane. Like, you have to turn, but then you have to correct it with a tilt. And then you have to, like, it's a whole thing. And it's very hard to navigate this thing. I promise you. Also, you have to remember to keep it up in the sky. So, I, just, it could be a little easier, I just feel like. And uh, not to mention uh if you jump out right like let's say you don't want to fly it all the way and you want to jump out early you have to make sure you do it at the perfect time and close enough to the ground or else you start all the way back at the pizzeria okay i definitely see something up there i don't know what exactly it is but i definitely see it you guys see that too right it looks purple i don't know what it is exactly oh we're getting close we're getting close hopefully if we land it doesn't destroy our plane okay what is that it's not a person it's an Oh, it's a little flag wait what i'm stuck okay so that is a glitch it has to be a glitch all right guys unfortunately the game glitched out there so i wasn't able to capture the flag in the video actually we passed by it really really quickly but i slowed it down in slow motion and seen exactly what the flag says and it says rexter was here because when i was initially looking for the golden freddy animatronic in that whole secret location area i ended up flying all the way to the moon because i felt like that was a good spot to be so guys we're the very first youtubers to say it rexter was all on the moon we finally did it ladies and gentlemen so it's been the usa and a few other countries and now rexter's youtube channel so that's exactly like the goals that i have for the youtube channel we're taking this to the moon baby so let this be a metaphor i'm gonna wrap up here though thank you guys again for all love and support if you guys enjoyed the video please smash that like button and of course guys subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm gonna wrap up thank you again i'll see you in the next one until then peace out